I have been on a long journey from humble beginnings to discovering art and the life I was meant to lead. I was born in South Korea. My father was a fashion designer and my mother was a traditional Asian lady who were in an arranged marriage. After the Japanese occupation and during the post-war, Korea was severely damaged. Life was very difficult to begin with, but when my father left us when I was three years old, we, were, we struggled to get out of poverty. There was no place for art in school or anywhere else back then. As a student, I craved artistic expressions and would often be disrupted from my studies and doodle sketch portraits of my teachers and classmates on my notebook. My focus was to study in school and become a nurse and marry a doctor. One day, when I was 12, I watched my oldest brother's friend applying watercolor on a large blank paper that covered the wall. I was totally mesmerized watching his painting transform into a powerful portrait of a strong Korean lady who was wearing yellow and purple dress and had a smile much like Mona Lisa. That image left an indelible impression on me. My eyes opened that weekend and I too wanted to paint a strong portrait and capture human emotions. In my early 20s, I came to America. Once I landed in this great country of abundance and opportunities, I needed a job. So I took all my money and enrolled in beauty school to become a hairstylist. In nine short months, I was able to establish a career that allowed me to make a living and be creative. Even though I made a good money and built my clientele over 25 years, I still felt this deep sense of emptiness, lack of fulfillment, and purpose. Something very important was missing. I longed to paint the powerful portraits that my brother's friend painted a long ago. Although I didn't realize back then that I was going through a deep depression. After my daughter was grown, my husband's career required us that we leave internationally. As I experienced life in European cities, I found a way to put down roots by visiting local art museums. I'll never forget the feeling of visiting Rembrandt Museum in the Netherlands. This Dutch master's work is so lifelike that his painting literally opens up and breathes instead of resting as static images. His canvases pause with subtle energy of living things. Back in the United States, I finally started my art classes at Scottsdale Art School. Soon after, I moved to San Diego to study with Jeff Watts, where I learned the painting fundamentals, human anatomy, and craftsmanship. I continued my study at the Russian Academy of Art in Florence, Italy. It was there where I learned how to paint more loosely and breathe life into the subjects of my canvas. Around this time, I experienced a renewal in my relationship with God and understood His plans for me. This helped me tremendously to find my purpose and gain confidence in this new life as a professional artist. My husband and I traveled as part of his missionary work and I have been so inspired by the people around the world living their faith. This has led me to create portraits and figurative paintings that honor all of God's beautiful creations. Each painting I create is a source of healing for me. As I lean into my artistic passion, I moved past the difficulties I experienced in Korea. With every brush stroke, I bless my mother for her strength, persistence, and her devotion to family. And my father for giving me the DNA to be the artist that I am today. There is no place I would rather be than with a brush in my hand. I know I'm here to make difference with this gift. 
And right now, there is no time to waste. Thank you.